about fitness, baby. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas in this video is filmed on Tuesday, February 11th. I want to start out by saying thank you so, so much to everybody following on Facebook. We just surpassed 1 million followers, which is so much appreciated. Excited to see where everything goes from here, but big thank you to our first 1 million followers. We just finished up week number four. I was so happy with the results I got when I weighed in yesterday morning. I'll talk about those at the end of this video. We are four weeks in, we've got eight weeks to go, we're one third of the way through. I did say that I would discuss my fitness and my nutrition in these next two videos, and yes, I do admit this is pathetic, but my pantry and my refrigerator are both pretty low right now, and my mom and dad are actually coming to visit me this weekend here in Springfield, Missouri, and I'll be able to use their vehicle to go get some groceries, because I am currently lacking a vehicle like I have been mostly since 2015. But we're gonna be talking about my fitness in this video, and then for next week, I'll have a fully stocked pantry and refrigerator to go over my nutrition for next Friday's video. As with each of the past sexifications, I've broken down this one into two parts. In all the previous ones, I just did everything into halves, but I started out way high at the 373.9 pounds, and during the last few months of 2019, I wasn't able to work out and exercise nearly as much as I wanted to. So for this one, I broke it down into two thirds and one third. We'll be having another video towards the end about the second one third, but right now we are halfway through the two thirds. We're four weeks in, we've got four weeks to go. Right now I've got two primary goals and one sub goal, with the primary goals being number one, to build my cardiovascular strength and conditioning, and number two is most definitely weight loss. Now, my execution for both of those goals is primarily the same through all of the spinning that I'm doing on Stacy, which I'm documenting on Strava, Instagram stories, and Snapchat pretty much five to six nights a week. As for my sub goal, I said that I wasn't able to lift and exercise nearly as much as I wanted to during my fourth quarter 2019 tour because of all the car traveling and just everything else going on. So right now, my sub goal is to reawaken my body, re-engage my skeletal muscles so that I'm feeling strong, ready to kick things up a notch when I start phase two. I'm working on accomplishing that goal through all of the lifting that I'm doing at my local gym. But first, let's finish up talking about all the spinning that I'm doing. We're four weeks in and of the four, I had three great weeks of spinning. I didn't get to do too much during week number three because of the cruise, so let's just break down weeks number one, two, and four. During week one, I was able to ride on six of the seven days. I took off that Thursday right in the middle, but I rode a total of eight hours and 152.9 miles. During week two, I again rode on six of the seven days, this time increasing by one hour up to nine hours total, or 169.6 miles. This past week number four, after getting home from the cruise, I was able to ride on five of the seven days. This time most of those were for a longer duration. I was able to log nine and a half hours or 182.1 miles total. I just started doing something new this past week. Now that I'm riding for longer, pretty much with each session, I've had a bunch of DVDs just sitting in my closet collecting dust. I've actually, while spinning, I've begun watching those and I found that since my eyes and my ears are both focused on the movie, I'm actually able to ride a lot easier, pretty much not even really thinking about the riding sometimes, and during the more intense parts of the movie, I've discovered that I'm actually riding even more intensely on my bike, which is really overall helping my spinning workouts. I spin five or six days per week, and I lift three or four days per week. On the days where I lift and spin, I do my lifting first, and then I spin. Sometimes I do them back to back, other days I take a break in between, kind of as a two-a-day. There's a lot of resistance training exercises that I enjoy with weights, and then there's others that I enjoy with just my body weight. Pull-ups, push-ups, dips, and some others. I would love to do those, but at this current weight, trying to do those would just be too depressingly difficult. I'm working my way towards being able to do those again during stage two, moving into touring season, by number one, losing weight, and number two, working out those same muscles that I'll be using by doing complex weightlifting movements at the gym. 
Spinning takes priority during phase one, so I don't really have a leg day per se. I primarily work out my legs by varying up the resistance level on my bike during my spinning session. I do, however, perform some bodyweight leg exercises in between my upper body lifting sets, primarily box squats from my bench and walking lunges. Then I'm not really resting, it's kind of like I'm doing circuit training. My weightlifting workouts last about 45 to 50 minutes each, and each one is pretty much structured the same. In addition to the lower body movements that I do in between sets, there's five main upper body movements that I focus on that each work a different set of muscles. I start out by doing bench press. I've always loved bench press for chest, in addition to doing push-ups when I can. Then I go over to a machine nearby, and I work my back by doing lat pull down. Then I work my shoulders by doing overhead military press using either a straight bar or dumbbells. Then I go over to the dumbbells and I will work my back again by doing one arm bent over rows. Then for the fifth movement, I do incline bench press. So it's pretty much push, pull, push, pull, push. And then I end each workout by doing 55 to 60 jumping jacks to really get the heart going. I can't show those because huh, this video would get flagged. On each of the days that I don't spin, I go for a one to one and a half hour walk. I also walk on some of the days that I do spin. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling and what all is going on. I often enjoy walking because during that time I get to do a lot of thinking and self-reflection. There's also a few little things that I do throughout each day. Some of them involve abs, but yeah, pretty much all little things. I'll talk about those in another video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video on my fitness. Pretty much just working to build, 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 keep on getting better each and every week. And I definitely progressed during week number four. Let's look at the calendar. It was my very, very first week of Sexification 2020 where I threw seven strikes in a row. So I knew I was gonna see good things on the scale yesterday when I stepped on it, and I did. Everybody that watched last week's video on week number three, after that cruise, I finished a little bit higher than I was at the end of week two, 361.4 pounds. Well, got on the scale yesterday, 347.9 pounds, under 350, so I'm very happy about that. It was a loss for the week of 13.5 pounds. Now, please understand that wasn't all body fat. There's some water weight fluctuations and other stuff involved, but we are at a total loss of 26 pounds so that is great an average of six pounds per week so really happy with how things are going the best part is is we're only one third of the way through we still have eight weeks to go we've only got four weeks to go though until we kick things up a notch again with all my fitness stuff another video on that coming up towards the end of this sexification 2020 we're going to be talking about my nutrition in next week's video, which allows me to do all of these awesome workouts. So thanks again for watching this video. Until my next video, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, hoping you guys always, always, always win before you begin. Thanks for watching. Talk about fitness, baby. <laughs>